talking where I'm from. We the champs in the zone, east coast to west. Every throne known and shown. Box and unbiased truth in every puff piece. Power pound kings, the talks never see. Check the stats, fight stack, gloves flying fast. KOs rewind and every punch lands last. Jabs like poetry, hooks like history. Uncover the mystery, every fight a victory. Check the stats, fight stack, gloves flying fast. KOs rewind and every punch lands last. Jabs like poetry, hooks like history. Uncover the mystery, every fight a victory. Prime time, prime Grind, every rhyme so refined True to the sport, no bias, we shine Fist up in the ring, our voices do sing From 9 to 90 at night, we the boxing king East to west, coast to coast Prime time the most, raising every toast Talk so smooth, flow with venom Truth in the rhythm, no biased algorithm Analysts breaking down round a glorious round Unbiased coverage making the sound profound Fighter profiles every style compiled Games by strategy casuals beat beguiled Prime time prime grind every rhyme so refined True to the sport no bias we shine Fist up in the ring our voices do sing From 9 to 90 at night we the boxing king Man, let's go ahead and jump on into this video, shall we? Boy, oh boy, I tell you, man. Look, turkey a la sheep, first of all, I gotta say, man, big ups, props, happy birthday to you. And look, hey, crazy enough, my birthday, August 7th. Ain't that something? But anyway, back to the back two. This fight car was one of the best. It had highs, it had lows, it had oohs, it had ahs, it had what's, it had come on now, it had wow, it had a whole lot of different things in this fight card because look, <laughs> a lot of things went the way I thought it would go and some shot the heck out of me. But anyway, first two. I gotta talk about is one of the most shocking fights of them all to me I would say is the Jared Big Baby Anderson versus Martin Bacot. Wow, wow, wow. Can I just talk about this first of all? Because you remember a day before the fight Jared Big Baby Anderson went to some back and forth a little bit with Jared Jarrell, Big Baby Miller. So, yeah, uh, and Big Baby Miller went on to saying that you might not even beat Martin Bacoli because this is the first heavyweight you have fought, you've been and babysit by top rank and they've been feeding you hyped up cruiser weights yeah he went all in I'm like what just a day before the fight so boom uh, even Martin Bacoli was sitting over there chilling I'm like yeah yeah <laughs> crazy and so then alright now Saturday to fight. Wow. 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 Is all I can say. Is that the first round, my man, Big Baby, went down. I'm like, what? Crazy. Second round. Mauled him. Martin Bacoli hit Jared Big Baby Anderson with some shots like, Wow. Wow. But let me just talk to you for a second. You know, a lot of these fighters that Prince Turkey al Sheik have been putting into these fights, they have been strategically sought out from all different parts of the world. This is like... A real life street fighter with just boxing. This ain't no, you know, street fighter. This is boxing fighter. <laughs> you might as well say. So, therefore, these fighters were chosen because they were the best of their country. The best of their country. Period. 
And to maybe us, yeah, we look at them like, oh, you know, these guys is some cab drivers, these guys some Uber drivers or whatever the case you want to call them, bum, tomato cans, whatever. None of these fighters that Turkey Alashi have chose is any of them. They are the best of the best from wherever he has found them. And he has paid them a hefty bounty to win for their country. Though some don't, some lose. But Martin Bacoli from the Congo of Africa. (laughs) Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, if he didn't put a heavyweight master class on Jared Big Baby Anderson. That uppercut, those small attention to details. When fighters get hit, a lot of time they revert back to whatever style they was used to use because that's their comfort zone, so to speak. And Martin Bacoli, really honestly, brutally honest, so he just capitalized off of every mistake that he studied Jared Big Baby Anderson of having. And, you know, I have to keep it real with you. A lot of people talk about, oh, you know, uh, you know, that's what Tyrant do. That, look, I get it. He's only 24 years old. Top Rank was developing him. They were basically building him up to be able to take on heavyweights like that. So do I think he was rushed by taking that Mark Bacoli fight? Hmm, maybe so. Maybe so. Maybe that was a bad choice. But he got paid. He got put on the biggest fight card in U.S. history first. Even though he lost, every loss is a learn, a learning point, a teaching moment, a teachable moment. That you got to figure out what can I learn out of this? What can Jared Big Baby Anderson take away from that loss? And that's really what you have to go to. You have to look and understand that every loss sometimes is not a loss, especially if you can walk away from it. With your health, your strength, your mind intact. And, you know, of course, you know, I hate that, you know, Jared Big Baby Anderson lost because I was cheering for him. I was rooting for him to win. But, you know, at the same time, I knew it was a great opportunity for Martin Bacoli. Somebody has been afforded for a long time that was looking for a fight. So, of course, I was cheering for him, too. That's the reason why this is the most unbiased place there is on YouTube. You got to understand that this is the most unbiased place on YouTube. Reason being is, is because I have a love for both sides, both fighters. You know, and I understood that, hey, if Mark Bacoli won, you know, it would be because he deserved to win it and not because he was given. Because we know Jared, Big Baby Anderson, ain't giving nothing. And that's why the Prince Turkey Allah she chose him. You know, um, hey, you know, you win some, you lose some. That's what Jared, Big Baby Anderson said. He said the good thing is he get to go back to his daughter, you know, relax and just be with family. You know, he said both fighters are safe, you know. What more can you ask for? You know, he took it on the chin, y'all. He took that L on the chin, and that's how you're supposed to do. Not cry about it, but figure out what to do as a fighter, learn from it, and come back. You know? Um all that old stuff, man, that stuff is overblown, you know. A lot of fighters fight better after they get that 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 loss. Everybody ain't Mayweather, you know what I mean? So, you know, those records and all that stuff like that, you know, we, we can't sit and dwell on that <laughs> because that's not everybody's lane. You know, look at George Foreman, you know, look at Uh, So many other historic heavyweights that, you know, made a a error 
here or there, made a loss here or there, but they still had a luxurious career. You know? So, Evander Holyfield. You know, think about so many other fighters that if they just gave up off that O, we wouldn't have seen some of the best fights like Evander Holyfield versus Mike Tyson. So, you know, Jared, pick your chin up, keep your head up, man, you know, um, and just learn from all your mistakes, your errors, and become a better fighter after that. You know, it goes on. You know, but 24 years old, man, do your thing, man. You know, and to all that want to jump and, and beat someone when they're down, hey, don't look down on them unless you're picking them up. That's how I feel. Don't look down on them. Nobody, unless you lifting them up, for real. It's enough in this world to tear us all down. So why kick somebody when they down? Why put somebody down? You know? So, it is what it is. Anyway, that's all I got for this video. You already know the routine when you leave my house. Hit that like button. Hit the subscribe button. Smash the bell icon so you can be notified the next time I drop the next latest and greatest videos here on Primetime Talk TV. And I'm on social media everywhere. Don't forget to go to the website, primetimetalktv.com and copy some merch. All right, y'all. Peace, love. I'm out till next time. It's